Nature is a spiritually instructive world. Everything we see is a symbolic representation of an idea, of something we need to learn. Nature is a universal language. Nature is God energy or God consciousness made physical. It is a book and it meets at the convergence of information and symbolism. You interpret this information through the energy field that animates all life. The energy field is in all things. It is a force. The energy field is God. It is unseen but only felt. It is what makes all things alive. It animates all matter. The earth is a holy place. It is the body of God. Each of us is a way for the universe to get information about itself. We are each a physical representation of an idea, a unique experiment in the evolution of the universe. The universe is getting information about itself on all different levels and in all different creatures. God is all things, all creatures, from all perspectives at all moments. God is one. From the very smallest thing to the very largest, all of the world is trying to teach us that all is one, all is a circle, a sphere. We are the microcosm of the macrocosm. There is wholeness in the smallest thing to the largest thing. In our lives and in our bodies, we experience the complete universe. All of natural history is a flowing document of becoming. From acorn to oak is represented the fullness and completion of an idea through time. What I'm trying to address in my art and in my writing is what is the essence of a thing? What is the spirit of a thing? Uh, for the physical representation in the world we see comes from the spiritual truth that we do not see, but can only understand with the soul, the invisible energy that animates our being and all beings. When we see the essence, the thing itself has served its purpose and has shown us the key to its significance. The thing's essence is more important than its material embodiment. The material embodiment is temporal, but the essence is eternal. This is what my art aims to say in a larger sense. It's a search for essences. Sharing my art and my writing with others helps me to feel that I'm doing my part to encourage and support the idea that we all have this available to us if we take the time for thoughtful contemplation. I moved into this house in the woods when my son was born. It's given me the opportunity to really live with nature and study it. I spend a lot of time in the woods and in my woodland garden when I write and draw. And my indoor studio is also nice. I have a bird's eye view to the treetops. I 
I can study how the ecosystem transforms through time. I'm working on a book right now called A Student in the School of Forest, and it will document the spiritual lessons that the forest has taught me here over the years. Nothing teaches you to be peace like the forest. It is simple. Just match your energy to the life all around you and absorb the peace and resonate with it. I guess I found when I did this that I started feeling like I could understand if I really looked at the symbolic message of whatever it was I was, I was gazing upon. And I started drawing human personifications uh, with the attributes that I was perceiving. I think Ralph Waldo Emerson said it best when he said, a deep insight will always, like nature, ultimate its thought in a thing. As soon as a man masters a principle and sees his facts in relation to it, fields, waters, skies offer to clothe his thoughts in images, for he can now find symbols of universal significance, which are readily rendered into any dialect. And to me, this is what we are here to learn. <laughs>